Hey, welcome to All Things SEO. Today I'm going to show you how you could convert your YouTube video into a blog post or a transcription into your blog post or your website. Uh, but before I show you, I want to give you some of the benefits as to why you should so that you could uh, you want to put in the, that time and effort to create these uh, and reap the benefit. The first obvious reason is traffic. Now, you might think you get enough traffic on YouTube alone, and then if you type in, um, let's see, how do I add branding watermark to my YouTube, and you're ranking number one, and you're getting all these views and things like that, that's fine, but you're missing a lot of uh, opportunity with Google.com, Google search results page page so here google's ranking number one uh, a lot of the questions that people are asking the video itself and a lot of these articles how to add watermark uh, things like that you are missing uh immense amount of opportunity here versus just uh, being ranked on youtube and uh, for example uh, i have one of my youtube video gaining more traffic from external than YouTube, uh, YouTube search, YouTube features, and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the benefit is SEO. Uh, if you have a video and if you could convert it to an article or to a transcription so that you could um, maximize your branding and traffic, obviously you do want to take that as well. Um, the other thing is you do want to optimize for the future, so voice search could be an opportunity. How do you translate audio into a voice search command? So how do I add watermark branding to my YouTube? Um, and then how do you come up with uh, these structured step-by-step -step instruction? Your videos won't be able to do it, but if you have a website, you can optimize for the future. Um, Google's not just wanting to rank for an article or just a video, you want to kind of blend both of it together so that you could reap the benefits for the for uh, all user preference. So whether that's voice search, whether that's YouTube video instruction or written article um, or pictures and screenshots and things like that, you want to adapt to people and their preference so that um, you cater to every individual versus just uh, someone who wants to just watch YouTube video. Um, so that's kind of one uh, the two main benefits. The third uh, and not the least benefit is you're not just relying on YouTube to generate uh, revenue, but you you're also re gener generating revenue from your website. So I have a website here all about YouTube and uh, guides and thing, things like that. And I want to be able to get money from the website and, along with money from YouTube. So I'm not, I'm double dipping here and just a few minutes of my time getting this trans, um, converting this video into an article. Um, I could rip, I could potentially double my revenue uh, or uh, increase some sort of significant amount of revenue. So with that said, let's go ahead and show you how this is possible using one tool. And I'm going to give you all the, the instructions. Now, the, the tool that I use um, is called Designer. They offer a subscription service where you could transcri transcribe your video, or your podcasts, or your webinars. You can also convert your um, your video or your articles into an ebook or a flipbook, all in one price. So this is a great tool that you could use to convert different types of audience and create lean man magnets with an ebook and things like that. So this is definitely a must. Uh, the pricing is twenty nine ninety nine. $29. So that's uh, really affordable and uh, creating that additional traffic and revenue for your YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is once you go into um, log in, you want to create a new project. 
And what you could do is you could either import from podcast or from YouTube. And all you have to do is just click on the video that you want, get the shareable link. It copies that link and link that file. And uh, let's copy this title so that we can know the different uh, actual title of the, the project and click next. And once once that's done, you'll be able to get the, the transcription uh, alert from your email saying that it's ready. Um, so once the, the transcription is done, you could go back to the draft mode and click the, the pencil icon. And it's going to prepare all the, the words and all the images that's related. And you can do several things here, but I'm not going to give you go into too, too many detail. So uh, it does capture a lot of these images. And what you could do is you could I click here and find the image within this area and it generates that image as well. So if you kind of go through, uh, if there's an instruction, specific instruction and there's no screenshot that kind of, uh, that explains it, you could here click on it and it'll generate the image. Yeah, so yeah right there now uh, you in this process you want to identify all the images that you do want um, and that's if you want to remove the images here that's fine as well but you could do that if you have a wordpress website you could just easily delete that um, so let's say this is all fine and uh, what you want to do is copy all of the image and the text so what we're going to do now is you're going to go hit done for now and pick a template and you're going to just pick a, a standard plain template because okay so all the the text and the images are now uh, uploaded to this uh, ebook creator but what you want to do is you want to click publish and click on html and click on export and this is going to generate an H all the html code and all you have to do is uh, Select all and copy. And we're going to create a new page or a post, whichever your preference. And what you're going to do is you're going to add the HTML code. Now, once you copy the, the code, all you have to do is just paste it in. And then WordPress just converts all the HTML code itself. And here's where you want to just edit all the, the texts, uh, delete any images that you don't need. Just clean it up. And you do want to use several um, tools like Grammarly or uh, Pro Writing Aid, any proofreading um, so that you can expedite your, your editing. So here's Grammarly seeing the changes. And this tutorial is on how to fix blah, blah, blah. Site data. And all you have to just kind of go through it for a couple minutes. And that's pretty much it. Let's kind of preview this. Gonna click save.
So now the only thing that you want to think of is do you want to make this a transcript or do you want to convert this in, into a more blog article? If you want to add your uh, the video here, then you should be uh, you should add the uh, video as well. Just like um, so, you could just add a video like this one. So this is not an article piece. This is uh, more of a step by step video instruction, and I link the video here. So you could do the same thing for this one, or you could make it more conversational, uh, whatever tone you want to create. Um, and just put your own twist so that it's more reader friendly versus um, audio or video friendly. Uh, and that's it. It's very simple. Um, and using this designer tool is uh, pretty straightforward. You could use it for multiple purposes. And I'll link the affiliate, affiliate link below so that you could take advantage of some of the promotion that they have. Um, and I use this tool all the time for all of my sites. And now I'm using it for uh basically converting all my youtube videos into uh, so that i could add it to my website but also uh, i'm going to also add the transcription into the the actual youtube so that the the transcription is better than the caption that youtube provides so uh it's more word for word um and i could kind of uh, enhance it just a bit so it explains more uh, much better compared to just having a full um, transcription because if you do trans uh, do a transcript of the of the video um, like how I'm talking I could say um or so if what um, I there's some miscommunication versus uh, or there's some lag and the wording might not uh, come out correctly if you script your video a bit better than me then obviously you'll have perfect sentences going through using this uh, method so you don't have to worry as much but for me uh, what i could do is um, a lot of the people that watch my video turn on the uh, captioning subtitles so i could upload uh, the better version of that uh, subtitle and caption so that people could understand the video better compared to uh, having google do the whole work for me so uh, if you like this video, make sure to like. If you want to subscribe, feel free. And uh, make sure to watch all of my other videos and more videos to come.